What is going on, people? Welcome back. Johnny here. And we, I guess I can leave that there, are playing some RimWorld. This is the Triple Permanent Cold Snap Sea Ice game. Sometimes I frack up and still call it Ice Sheet, but whatever. You get the idea. Look, another heater broken down. Met a million things break down lately, but Karen just stays on top of that kind of stuff when she's not hungry or wanting a beer anyway. Okay, so we're going to build a biofuel refinery. We're going to start making ourselves some chem fuel uh, from organics. We're just going to do... This is a this is a dangerous thing because you can run your ass right out of food. So let's just do it. We'll start with five times... We have 1,685 taters. We have 2,600 rice. Let's make that out of rice. But to clear all rice. There you go. All right, we could do it 10 times. And now what we're going to do is we're going to make some transport pods. These are very resource intensive. I don't want it down here. I do have a... I did build a turret to cover this area in an in a sad attempt to keep uh, sky fallers from landing. I don't really want to put it near the outside wall because once in a while someone comes and bashes through the outside wall, but I also want it close to where we're storing stuff. And it can't be too close to the building. On a related note, look at that. What have I done? Something like that. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, okay, so what was I doing? Yeah, where are we going to put our transport pods? At some point, we're going to need to go get an AI Persona core. We can't even begin to do that until we get plus 40, what do you call it? Favor? Mood? Faction? Whatever. Goodwill. That's what it is in this game. And at, I haven't really been able to do that at all. <laughs> They're still neutral. What is this plus 10 shit? All right. Uh, both follow Astropolitan. Well, anyway. So, pop this stuff down. Carry on. Also gets Karen outside. I think I can put them here. but So it's sort of a double, like, awesome target for the AI if I do that. No, it can't be there because the pod will end up under the roof. You have to put it the other way, dummy. There. I was just going to commit to doing two straight away. Because we're going to have to send people out, I suspect. They're not going to deliver us an AI Persona Core, right? We do still have a bit of a problem. This defoliator has reached 100 on its radius, which I deem to be here. So it's not hurting any of my plants because it's a circle and it's just dropping off before it hits anything. So there you go. Hey ho. For some reason, the game won't show you any radii over, I want to say 50 or 55, somewhere in there it drops off. Uh, no, I don't really think we need that. <laughs> does it have a high shield? It does. If it didn't have a high shield, we could easily take care of it, because we have the mortars. But, that's just not going to be the case. And these are resource intensive, so, so, it, what was it for this? And I guess these things hang out for a while, but, it's a tall order, man. We're looking at 110 steel, two components. What's the... I'm going to fill both these things up. How do I do that? There we go. <laughs> okay. That's her. I look like a dummy, right? Where's Karen? Why isn't she building this? There we go. She is. All right. So we did get enough chem fuel to fill them both up. But I don't see any more hanging around. Then we burned through a couple hundred rice. Oh, MG. Please have like a thousand uranium. <laughs> like how I did that? They have no uranium. Maybe that was that would be an exotic goods trader. Remember how excited these how exciting these guys used to be? Now it's like meh, lame. I'm gonna keep face masks until we wear through them, I guess. Anything that's worn out though will sell. Yeah, we just had one of these guys, so it's sort of vertlos, which means worthless and sad because usually you'd be so excited over something like this Man, i'm burning through a fair amount of gold I'm not gonna buy an armchair i'm gonna buy all their granite block 
We're going to get around to doing our double wall. Around the perimeter at least. And we're going to need more blocks anyways. I don't know what's stronger. Sandstone. 140% or slate. 130%. Well, there you go. Sandstones. Maybe I'll buy a couple hundred of those too. We have tons of cash right now. So I'm not really shy about spending it. It also helps us by shifting money around. We always come out in the negative on that. And that's decent for us in terms of reducing colony wealth. So uh, I just bought 500 meat. I don't have any. They do have chickens. That's an intriguing option at this point because outside of the solar flare, we could certainly keep them alive really easily. We did end up with... So it took 250 chem fuel, I believe. I could be wrong. It might have took 200 to fill those up. I think there are 150 each, one full. So 300, whatever. <laughs> those jobs that you rarely use. I'm usually in a medieval setting here, so... What the hell was I doing? All right, I bought 100 meat as well. This should be fine. Really, I just need to get this situation solved with the uranium, and then we can go from there. I wonder if I'm growing enough wood to keep a fire constantly burning in here. They'll pull wreck from it. And I know it seems really strange to just light a fire inside your, fucking, your place, but I guess we're getting enough. Uh, all right, they're attacking immediately. This would be an awesome time to wake these dicks up. Do you think I can do it before those pigs get there? Probably. It depends where they go. Because if they start heading this way, they might miss them entirely. But if they go this way, it's going to be great. Oh, uh, God, what do you do? I think we go for it. These guys will solve our problem. They're moving quick, though. we got to get these things. Sh oh, it should just take one shot, right? If we can just hit them with one. I guess it depends how long it takes for these things to fire up, too. Come on. Yes. Damn it. You fucking missed, you dipshit. There we go. There they are. All right, you lot. Get the guns ready to fire again. I know there's a battle going on. Here it is. Beautiful. What is that? What is that? A legionary. Ah, uh, it could have been a big mistake. Well, regardless, one thing I should certainly do is schedule us all the nearby. This one's ready to go. You're free, my friend. I want to watch the... Oh, what the hell was that? Holy shit, balls. Whoa. Oh, the pit. Oh, the smell of burning pork. All right, get out of there. All right, well, the pigs didn't stand a GD chance. I really thought that would go better for the pigs. Holy shit. Um, I haven't really dealt with the mechs in a good long while. And clearly, because... Did they kill any mechs? Holy piss sacks, I don't think they did. Alright, so now we got a bit of a problem on our hands. It looks like they wounded a Scorcher. They didn't do frack all, man. I really shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, oh. This guy, I think it's Molotovs. Molotovs are catching on fire, or grenades, maybe. Well, it's weird to see all that stuff going to waste, but I'm not dealing with that. Did you see what these walking laser beams did? Holy shit. Okay. Um, yeah, well, we're just going to stay inside for a nice little while, harvest our fucking bonsai trees, and take a nap. Ouch. Somebody should deal with it, right? It'll be fine. I didn't really realize there were all these Billy Badass guys hanging out here. It's fine. Like, they have to be dealt with eventually. Maybe, like, a nice traitor will show up here. They'll charge. They'll get caught up in combat and won't be able to flee. Bulk goods everywhere. All, all the uranium a guy could want, huh? Just because Karen needs to get outside once in a while, I'm going to start working on the double wall situation. Not really sure how to make the door area small or more powerful. Probably at the end game, we just we have an extra piece of wall and we just pop it over that. If I build that there, we can move it there before we fire up the ship at the end. 
That should work fine, right? We still don't have legit security here. There's a few... God, we're burning through steel. It's got to it's gotta be the advanced components, right? <laughs> and it just keeps every time I look. 20 steel. I have no clue. And when it says 30 gold, does it, or 3 gold, it doesn't say that's a times 10 thing here. So I guess it's actually just 3 gold. I guess we probably would have run out of gold before now if that was the case. She's getting decently cold just coming out this close. I'm doing granite. At least one layer of these walls is going to be granite. It's going to be awesome. I may have to, like I had, I guess the bottom space can be covered here. May have to go outside for this one, but that could be a summertime project. I'm not trying to do too much of this wall. Literally, it's just something to break up her day so she's not feeling like she wants to go outside. Everybody has slept in the cold. You know what? We have extra heaters over here. It's going to cramp up these rooms a bit. But we don't really need them over here for the time being. So let's try that. Let's see what happens. Does that sufficiently warm them? Probably not. It's still dropping down in the 50s. Oh, no. It's hard to tell. I guess you could slow the shit down and see. <laughs> 70, 63, 57. Yeah, it's just inconsistent. Probably doesn't really matter how many heaters you put in there. That would be my guess. It is neg 234 Fahrenheit, neg 148 Celsius outside. Three days before the end of spring. And our tw I believe it's only our 12th year. I think it starts at 5500. We're about to finish our 12th year. Hmm. That's really not a long time for what we've accomplished. I wish these guys would at least get fucking sluggish from the cold, right? You cannot tell me that shouldn't affect them, but what do I know? What kind of super future lubricants are they using in those joints? And batteries. Batteries don't work so great in this level of cold, right? Eh, I'm not buying it. It's dog shit. Well, well, well. Uh, Karen and... Nugfur's marriage is on, but uh, Karen is actually not attending. <laughs> she, why wouldn't you do it? I guess maybe it's dirty in there. They prefer the workroom. All right, Anthal, are you performing the ceremony? Here we go. A marriage on the ice sheet. This will keep everybody happy for a bit. It's fantastic. If only we could deal with these dicks <laughs> somehow. What kind of shield is this guy packing? I don't know. That's a bullet shield. Very vulnerable if somebody gets inside. Maybe that's a reason we should take a brawler. All right. Who didn't drink their beer? Ah, whatever. You guys gonna bang on your marriage night? <laughs> Needs. Look at that shit. Pow. Maxed out. Yeah. Sure, mom died. Why didn't you eat? You were at a goddamn party, dude. The hell's wrong with you? <laughs> insulted? Who insulted you? Uh, I don't see an insult anywhere. That's weird. Yeah. How why is that's really strange? It should show up. Whatever. Look, they even took the same last name. Maybe Karen. I swear I gave her a last name. Maybe I didn't. I'm probably just left the default. I don't know who insulted her. That's weird. Regardless, I'm definitely on a tangent here. Well, Karen got a work frenzy. Anthal doesn't have squat to do. I wonder if I can get Anthal just to deliver supplies. Like, start dishing things out here. I don't even know if that's worthwhile, but... Uh, Karen needs ready apparel. Slept in the cold. Cabin fever again, you say? So we can probably do something like... That. <laughs> I don't get Karen outside. Nug for stuck indoors. Jesus, man. He'll deliver supplies for us, right? There you go. Is anybody else set to construct? No. Karen's our person for that. There we go. I'm going to pop another uh, cooler in here. We're just right on the cusp of losing this beer. I don't want that to happen. And we have the supplies at this point. We still have about 4,000 steel. 
I jacked up the number of advanced components I need. Per my account, we're currently at like 34 to build this. Might have been 36, but either way, I know we're going to need a handful more, so. All right, crypto sleep caskets done. Mer machine persuasion, which should fit right in here. You can see I sort of tweaked the ship a little bit. Back to the ship. Well, I knew that was coming. That's not a bad spot for it at all, though. Uh, so now we can kick this on. You don't worry about the fire. You come flick the switch. There we go. All right. Now I can safely have everything turned on for a little while without having to worry about a major, major explosion. What? Oh, for frack's sake. Most of the stuff I can just place anywhere. Maybe because it's forbade. No. How fucking frustrating is that? Let, us, let me play in game. Alright, I'm gonna bite the bullet and build this. Maybe I'll build this one too. That really chaps my ass though. <laughs> I'd like to be able to plan everything and not have to dick around so much, but here we go. Alright, anyways, so after this research, is there anything else that might be useful? Like bionics? We could get into that. Pulse charge of munitions. Mmm. If we could ever come up with a shit ton of uranium, one of these babies will drop mechs like nobody's business, right? Uh, tear through plastic like paper. Mm -hmm. We also may have to rework this situation, though, because those are very long range. Uh, I don't know. One more set of research to do, though, and then we have everything we need for actual ship construction in terms of research. Still have to track down that AI Persona car. We do have a collection of goodies. At this point, we're not going to need a death rest serum. <laughs> no matter what. <laughs> okay, that, that last heater made zero impact in here. That's okay. I'll just dump it back in the bedrooms if we ever get another person. What? Okay. Okay, what's up with this? Who's cold? <laughs> It's Karen. I can't have her flubbing this. Okay, she insists. There's lightning coming from somewhere. Get inside. Back to research. So these things are worth just over $1,000. I'm not super stoked about having to build them just to plan my ship. I should build the generator sooner rather than later, right? Okay, so there's three. And then if we do end up with another person... I can pop one or two on the ends here. So we're not we're not, not committing to taking more people. <laughs> we still have the bedroom space. We're just uh, making with planning and making for what we have. Look at this. Look at that drop off. That's pretty legit. Doesn't look as good here, but there you go. <laughs> not really sure what I did to make that happen. What does this say? That was our marriage. Oh. Nice. Happy events are noted on there as well, not just people coming to try to kill you. We peaked at about 204, maybe 205,000, and now we're at 189 and some change. I don't know. What's that? 15K maybe that we've been able to drop it. If we'd get out Bernie's carcasses, maybe. Well, it's really nice to see the storeroom empty. It's really shitty to see things constantly breaking down. Our batteries have not come close to being capable of, or to recharging. <laughs> I, can, hey, I want to get this research done today. I don't know if I'll have time, though. Um, plus, if a raid comes in, that really slows an episode down. Nug for making an advanced component. So we need... Uh, I'm going to do an advanced component count, but as soon as I get this guy placed, and then we'll just shoot for that plus a few... I don't think I'm going to even get involved with Bionics. Usually that's a way I would go for this playthrough, but it took us so long to get additional people on board that it really slowed things down dramatically and whatever. And then I just got to keep an eye on Karen and make sure she's not too miserable about being inside. These guys have things to trade. Do not wake these frackers up. I don't know what would happen. I'm going to wake them up before the end game. What would be awesome is if we could somehow get these guys to come together in the middle here. Oh, I'm so sorry, amigo. Why can't I select that stupid hammer? There they go. Who's feeling lucky? 
Uh, we'll just wait till tomorrow. It's negative 260 degrees. It's the fourth. All right, so neg 261 Fahrenheit, neg 163 Celsius on the fourth day of December at 1 a.m. in the morning. 1 a.m. in the morning. Let's just say at 1 a.m. I think that's probably a bit more. Regardless, it's too damn cold to go out there. Doesn't affect these dicks, though. He even kind of looks like a dick, doesn't he? Fuckers. All right, so Karen hit 13% when she got over there. That's not bad. She did see a lot of carcasses, but she, everybody's so stoked from the wedding. How long does that last? 24 more days. That's awesome. Plus the constant plus 10 and plus 16 for all the banging they're doing. Can't really complain about that. All right, this is a good thing. I doubt they're going to have uranium, but there you go. All right, here we go again. We don't really have much to sell, just a couple crappy bows and pilas. I don't expect anything out of these dicks. This guy's got a peg leg, and he's a slowpoke. This chick is delicate, which means she takes extra damage. She's a, that, so that would be bad, because I kind of need a melee person. And this woman has a psychite dependency and is a misandrous and doesn't do violence. You know, the whole slave ship thing. I guess that's where we got Anthal, but I'm not impressed. <laughs> Worthless. Wait, is there any chance they would have the one thing we're needing right now? No, no, there's not. In fact, they're not even interested in buying the stuff we have. I have no idea where all of our steel is going. <laughs> I'm getting a little miffed, so... And last time I checked, I was at like 4,000. I guess we spent 400 on these. The only real option is the components, I suppose. Please leave me a like if you are enjoying. Leave a comment. I do read them all. I do respond. I do very much appreciate you guys being here with me today. No idea how we're going to handle this nightmare, but we'll figure it out at some point. I don't even think we can go for this with those dicks that close, but I can't believe how fast they kick those pigs' asses. <laughs> oh, oh, this thing's pooping out toxic stuff. I don't think these guys poop out toxic poison shit. Uh, but... Yeah, I think we're okay. But this was just a big pile of pollutants we accepted for some favor from somebody or whatever. Anyway, I love you guys. I'll see you next time when we will finish the last of the ship research. Oh, look at that. The ash settled. Nice.